Hello the internet. It is Sunday the 24th of May 2020. Welcome back to a wave a day. A wave a day is my project where I surf a wave every single day, no matter what the conditions, right here at my local break, Culbara Beach, for an entire calendar month, thanks to Bell Surf Wax and Rs and Wetsuits. Today is the second day of really large swell and heavy wind. Actually, it doesn't look too big right now, but it's nasty. There's nobody surfing. It's dirty. Look at this. And it could be, it could be struggle town. I may not even paddle all the way out. If this is past my level, I've made the decision to not paddle out. Yesterday I did paddle out, I felt confident. If it's bigger, and if it's windier, and if it's garbagier, garbagier, then yesterday I'm not gonna paddle out. I'm gonna walk into the uh, white water up to my knees and get some white water as my, as my wave. That's it. We're not gonna risk our lives here. And when it's conditions like this, you gotta think of safety. It's a wave a day every day, but a wave can be white water. As long as I get up on my board. It actually doesn't look too bad right now. This section here on the shoulder, I could ride that. I gotta be flexible. I gotta be flexible and I've also gotta be smart about it and be sensible. That's the thing. I've also gotta walk to the northern point of the beach. We do have a southeasterly swell, which is pushing that way. And the wind is southwesterly, which is pushing that way as well. You can feel it, you can hear it, right? All those things add up to the worst part of the beach is where I'm headed to, totally. <laughs> In fact, it'd be way better to be walking towards Tilbury Cove right now. That'd be the protected uh, wraparound break, whereas I'm walking towards the slaughterhouse. You feel that wind? The board's getting thrown around here. Now that's actually a great segue into a question from Lee Jones. Lee Jones asks, what size board, volume-wise, am I duck diving? Well, I'm duck diving and I'm riding this board the 7S Superfish from Global Surf Industries and it is a 6'9", 44 litres. It's a little large, a little heavy to be getting under the water, but... Wow, mamma mia! Condition-wise, big, nasty, penis! I'll give you an update when we get to the northern point. Okay, here we are, northern-style Culbara Beach. Now, this is the exact spot I was yesterday. We got the entrance point to the caravan park here and we've got a little sandbar that happens here now obviously everything's been washed around from what i can tell it looks a little smaller than yesterday and i've watched already a bunch of sets come through i'm probably gonna jump in have a look at this this little kind of rolling little right section here that's a section that's a section. Not a great section, but that is a section. I'm thankful that it's not as pumping as it was yesterday. Although, if that wind does kick in, it can be a little bit terrible. So let's go surfing. There's an easy way. We can go back go this. We've got first names last, second names first. Wondering what to do with Well, good morning, Sunday! Again, paddle out. Wasn't as hard as I thought it would be. I did take one on the head. Kind of knocked me around a little. Other than that, it was pretty much plain sailing. Also, got smatterings of blue sky. Look at this. How fast those clouds are rolling. Nice to see a little bit of blue sky though. So there's a wave. The hardest thing about surfing in these conditions is not the wave, it's trying to stay in line with the beach camera. Man, I'm drifting so fast. I just got a woeful ride and I gotta walk. If I'm gonna, hang on a sec. If I'm gonna go out for a second wave, which I am, I can't paddle back. I gotta walk probably about a kilometre to the southern end of the beach and then let the drift take me to get in line with the beach camera. I paddle like 50 paddles and I'd look back at the land and I wouldn't move at all. I'd be in the same freaking spot. It's not the conditions that are, not the waves that are out of my league. 
It's the freaking paddling. So I don't have a video guy, I have an iPad, which is literally locked off on the one spot. But to get to that spot, there's so much paddling, it's crazy. What is it, 20 minutes, 20 minutes and three seconds. And aside from me riding that wave and saying good morning to you, I literally spent, whoops, I literally spent the entire time paddling that way to stay where I was. I've walked heaps far up the beach. You won't even be able to see the camera from here. It's way, way down there. So let's POV this up. Paddle out. I may not even get that gun there. It could be, it could be difficult. Let's give it a shot. Now I'm gonna wait for my time here. Maybe after this. Now is it raining now? I think it's raining. Crikey. Oh wow, okay. Yeah, not gonna go yet. That's oh, dark grey out there, isn't it? Crikey. You see all this movement? It's going that way. What's after this big wave? We'll probably go. I'll wait and see. Maybe? No, there's another little one behind it. I'm gonna wait for the break in the set. Okay, I think we're good now. Yeah, we're good, we're good. Okay, let's go. Let's do this. Here we go. Run, And duck dive. Run, go. Final hard. Final hard. Final hard. Kick it on. And duck dog. Final hard. Final hard. Final hard. Not there yet. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Oh, that's it. Oh, that's it. Oh, that's it. Oh, that's it. Right, we're there. We're safe. Okay. All right. Okay. We well, made it. You can see the waves break up behind. Now, how far did we drift? Not much, surprisingly. Look how fast we're moving. What the heck? Okay. Let's just sit here for a bit. Regain and we'll let ourselves drift until we get in line with the entrance point, which is a, we're good, we're good. Oh crap, got a panel out of it. Oh, I get caught on the inside here. Gee, it's a big boa. What? Ah, we're good, we're good here. Wow, that's a big mama mama. Okay, we're drifting like speed car racer. Go speed racer. Let this go behind. This is gonna work. Let's go again. Let's go again.
Oh wow. Okay. PRV out. Well, I did not expect that. I've got a POV. Got my wave. I looked up. I'm still in good line with the beach. So I thought I'd paddle back out and get out of the way. a massive paddle-a-thon. Should be called paddle-a-day, right? I spent the entire time paddling. Now, what you didn't see, because I'm going to edit it out, is that after I paddled out POV style, I think it was about 32, 33 minutes, I literally sat paddling until 54 minutes. And it's at, at that point that I thought, man, if I don't get a wave, the GoPro is going to die, the battery and I'm not going to get anything. I just couldn't find myself a good section, like... There was some nice waves, but they're just closing out. Look at this. I just didn't want to waste my time on that. So I waited and waited and waited, and then I was like, just grab whatever I can. And the one I got was woeful. You don't, you don't understand how hard it is to stay in line with that camera. It's ridiculously hard in these conditions. There was like... There was a squall that came through. It was just... White caps everywhere. The sun was out. It was kind of weird. It was like the sun on my back and then blasting wind in my face with white caps of water around me. Look at this! So if you enjoyed seeing me paddle and get no waves, come back tomorrow for Wave a Day Part 25! Hey, thanks for checking out my Wave a Day project for May 2020. Now, if you liked what you've seen here and you want to make sure that you don't miss any further updates, hit the old subscribe button there. You can also check out yesterday's wave right here. You can check out a previous vlog of mine, it may or may not be surf related, right here. And if you want to support the content financially, Patreon right here. Ooh, there's waves to be had right here. Look at this. <laughs>